What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I are gonna create a cute cartoon illustration of Bluey. Now you wanna to begin today's lesson in the center of the page and draw an oval for the left eye. We're gonna start from the very top, bring this all the way down towards the bottom of our oval, and then back up towards the top. Let's move to the right side of the eye and draw in the muzzle. We're gonna start with a straight line going out to right about there, round this out, come down, and then in towards the mouth. Now I'm gonna curl the mouth, coming down, and just pull that up towards the end, and it'll add a bracket on the corner of the mouth. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the nose. We're gonna start over on the left, just gonna round this out, come down and in, go out, and then up towards the right. Now along the top, we're gonna draw a small oval for a highlight. Let's fill the bottom of the nose in black. Now you wanna draw that same size oval on the right side in behind the muzzle. So we're gonna start on top of the nose, bring this up towards the same height, come all the way around the side, and then just tuck that in. Let's go to the center of the left eye, step in, draw a small oval for the pupil and then we'll fill that in black. Let's tuck the right pupil in behind the nose. So we'll start here, go up toward the top, and then back down, and then we'll fill that in black. Let's add that trim going around the corner of the mouth. Let's start from the inside of the left eye, go around, come down, and just tuck that in underneath the mouth. Now that we've drawn the face, let's move up and draw the top of the head. We're gonna start all the way over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up in the middle and I'll bring that down towards the right. Let's round out the corners of the head. Just pulling that down. And pull this all the way down towards the bottom of the body to right about there. Let's close off the bottom of the body. Start by rounding up the corners, come in across the middle, and then up on the right. Now we're gonna go back and add that trim around the eyes. Let's start from the top of the left eye, curl this up and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Now from the bottom of the eye, curl this down and then out. Let's add that patch in the center of the body. Starting over on the left, go up. I'm just gonna bend this in across the middle, go across, and then bring that back down. Now we wanna add some spots on the side of the body. Let's start from the top left, add a small half circle, move down, draw a larger half circle. I'm gonna go all the way over towards the right side and add one more. Now let's place the ears on top of the head. We'll start from the corner of the head, go up in an angle towards the tip of the ear to right about there, and then do the same thing on the right. Now we wanna bring this back down on top of the head, leaving a small gap in between. Let's we'll start with the left, moving down and in, and do the same thing on the right. Let's place the eyebrows inside the ear. We're gonna start from the top of the head, go up, and bend that in. Let's line this up on the right, just bringing that down. Now we're gonna round up the ends of the eyebrows, just pulling this around like a bracket. And then we'll close off the top with another curve. Now I'm trace the side of the ears along the inside. So let's start from the bottom, go in behind the eyebrow, go up towards the top, and bring that down along the inside, and then do the same thing on the right. Let's go all the way down towards the bottom and add in the legs. We leave a small gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side, draw a straight line coming down towards the ankle, move over towards the right, and do the same thing, drawing the same length line. Let's go out towards the hip and draw another line coming down, just gonna line this up along the bottom. And we'll add the paws along the bottom of the legs. Let's start on the left side, we're gonna curl this around, 
and then bend that in. Do the same thing on the right. Just leaving a gap in between. Now I'm going to close off the center with another curve, coming down and up. And it'll separate the paws. From these two points, we go up and in. Just up above the ankles, we draw a straight line going across. Now I want to place the arms along the side of the body. Let's start on the hip. Draw the thumb. We come down and just bend that up. And then we'll add three fingers pointing out. Let's start from the outside of the thumb, come down and then back in. Let's add two more fingers. We're gonna step out, go out and in. Let's do that one more time, coming in towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw a straight angle line coming up towards the side of the body. Now just up above the wrist, we're going to draw a straight angle line to separate the hand from the arms. Now you want to finish off by adding the tail coming out from the left side. Let's start from the side of the hand, curve around and then in. Set another curve, going out and in. Add another one going up. I'm just going to pull the tail going up in behind the leg. So come down and then bend that up. I'm going to finish off by adding a seam across the end of the tail with a curve. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Bluey. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.